best present is to tell her that I am alive. Yeah, yeah, it's really red over there. This is not good. This is not good. Now we have started the hike into Rapa Valley and the first two days we will try to go deeper into the valley and then we are searching for the big Sark elk here in the national park.
How are you inside? Ah, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. Lovely, lovely. Oh, lovely. I mean, canary up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. with wet cigarettes oh it's not wet not it's wet good. oh okay no, then it's handmade then you su survive a little bit longer okay We have had a rainy night and it's wet. Anyway, today we continue deeper into the valley and we continue searching for the big elk of Rapa Valley. Until now we haven't seen, seen the elks. We have seen tracks from them but no animal. But we continue. I'm now in Rapa Valley. I'm walking on the part of the dry river bed. So in high water, in flood water, this is covered with water. This is the second day of the tour. The first day we came here with helicopter. It's a, a marvelous way to see the landscape from above. Anyway, we use the helicopter to reach the Rapa Valley easily. It's 20 minutes flight. And then we arrive into Namach, almost Namach, to the, the border of Rock, Sarek National Park. Actually, it's raining quite a lot. This water river gets new life. Amazing, you see? Coming now! Amazing! Dry river, wet river. <laughs> we are trapped on an island.
I get weather forecast on the satellite phone from Stina. That's back home. So tomorrow she's writing that in the east part of the valley it will be continue blowing wind and no rain but higher up in the valley it will be strong wind and snow rain. So today we have quite rainy morning and then some uh, some wind during the day but it's still raining now uh, it seems like Thorak is raining it's a part of the life in Thorak to have to be in rain Rapa Valley is uh, one of the places in Sweden with most near the bird things coming from the sky rain snow so actually mm -hmm. I think Rapa Valley have 2000 millimeter each year the problem now is that the temperature is low and everything is moisture and uh, it's more or less it's quite difficult to dry out clothes that getting wet so and shoes that get wet tomorrow we will walk higher up in the valley uh, without backpacks leaving the camp here and make make a day tour actually to see if we can find some of the famous elks of Sarek. Now it's time for a good night. Right now I actually waked up and I really need to go peeing. Oh. Outside I can hear the wind pushing pushing quite hard in the tops of the trees and uh, the weather forecast said up to 34 meter per second in the wind push if there is anyone up there in the mountain high up over the tree line it's not super nice to camp there right now the work had to be done Very, very quickly. Super nice to be back in the sleeping bag. Super nice. Oof. Oh. Continue sleeping. It's a new day, and uh, it's not raining in Sarah today. snowing <laughs> ah that's the part of the game this time of the year so it's no problem now I'm going down to the dry river because I really want to see if if we are stacked on an island but here's a riverbank There's not a lot of water here. <laughs> so 
sometimes the water level in the Ropa River can go up half a meter and if that happened then we had a problem because then we, if it goes up here half a meter then oh, it will be a cold river to cross but you see it's actually start going down again when you walk in this area you should be a little bit awake because <laughs> there is elks here and they're not super shy so actually they they could go and lay down very close to the tent even, even if you don't know it I think it's time for a coffee a cup of tea or breakfast a sandwich a coffee warm coffee wake up the body and then go for a hike But you know we have no connection, internet connection here. But you are filming all the time. I thought yeah, it was but for that. Live. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was for that. Otherwise we were blinking all the time. Oh, you're reason. blinking. That's why you're blinking into the camera all the time. That's oh. not for you. I didn't get it. <laughs> I thought it was me. <laughs> no, no, but there's. Very well, it? <laughs> I want to continue, yes. You love the warm sun? I love the sun. <laughs> Italians. Come to me. Come to me. deeper into the Rapa Valley and try to find the Sark elk. I had to stay low because it's so weak for the microphone. But I'm disappointed. We haven't seen any animals. Only a few birds and some tracks. It's the third day and uh, I think it's time for us to get some content. Nature is nature. We get the contact with the wind anyway. Cold wind and snow.
<laughs> Here is the tray. This is from this year because this is very new. Yeah, cleaning the antlers, and there is tracks from elks here. And this is new because this have been pushed down after that the the leaf are yellow. If they had pushed it down before the leaf are yellow, uh, you know it's all around. So it's dead. He also been stepping around. So when Mati started with it, I thought, okay, that's a good job. Mati is filming us now. Yeah, I'm never joking. I will never fool you. <laughs> no. I'm always serious. So should we cut this? It's like a organic pasta, I love it. Ah. <laughs> is this a typical Italian way to do it? Yeah, it is. Can't you see that it's very Italian, this thing? So let me call Mario. Mario, come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy guys. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, five star on TripAdvisor. <laughs> what are you doing, Tomato? Cut this part also. Mm. <laughs> when you drink too much tea, you need to be. I think. We have some new elements added to this too. <laughs> Did you see? the winter. Sleeping. The Italians don't know what they had to wake up to. Back <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Take your sleeping bag. It would be lovely with it. It would be lovely with a cup of tea right now, but the stove is out there and the sleeping bag is even more lovely. So uh, it's it's only six o'clock. I sleep a little bit more. Merry Christmas! Exactly, Merry Christmas! Yeah. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Jingle bell, 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 I hear voices, Marco. Are you awake? I hear voices, Marco. <laughs> Do you have a nice time in there? <laughs> are you still alive? Where are these voices, Marco, oh, in shit. my head? <laughs> there are voices in my head. <laughs> what are you doing? Come out, dead or alive. We are in Rome, right? There is yeah. a beautiful sun outside, right? Exactly. Exactly. It's super warm here. Yeah. yeah. And it looks beautiful. Out there. No, it's beautiful. We're waiting for you. <coughs> no, you, you were making the fire, I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I? Merry Christmas! Oh, I yeah, bought the pitch kum. Okay, so call me when it's spring. You might. Marco. Guarda. Welcome to Christmas time. Now, Are you filming? I'm filming. Okay. Madonna. <laughs> Hello, Marco. Good morning. Good morning. Canary Island. <laughs> you know, 10 years ago. I was in a t-shirt <laughs> drinking an aperitivo <laughs> in Milan. <laughs> you see, you said rain is not good. Snow is better. Yeah, well, I mean, if this was raining, <laughs> we would have stayed here until March. <laughs> <laughs> I've broken his <it> arm. <laughs> That's the reason to tell the helicopter. I have to do some plastic surgery. So the new member of the group? Yes. Who carry him? You lost uh, nobody. <laughs> we will get in one.
fourth day here. I've been paid to say it's all okay. And I've been paid to advertise Pimpadina Nudar Po Nulfid from Coop. Asian delicacy. Try it before you die in Saren. <laughs> Cold hands, moistery, cold. <laughs> Dry and cozy.
again tomorrow. It's very nice when you can leave an animal that they know. Disturbed. They just lay down. They, you see that they you don't really bother them. They just stay there. It's all over. It's all over. And here, look, look, look. Yeah, yeah, it's really red yeah, over there. to see like such an impressive one <laughs> I would say no it happened of course several times every year look behind now the mountain it happens every year but uh, we are really really lucky this is good really good northern light and in this moment of the in this part of the year it's also like usual oh that's usual yeah it now it starts and this is the best period of the year to see northern light because you're filming right yeah but it's no problem i like let me know let me know where I should. oh everywhere it's good if you are in the picture now because it's dark too much so it's when it's daylight we don't want you in the picture 
When it's daylight, I'm never in the picture. I'm, always, I'm somewhere, I'm somewhere <laughs> bothering you. No, because now before the snow arrive, then it's really nice to to get another light. Look. Why before the snow arrives? Because it don't take so much no. attention from the snow. Now it's really black, the dark. So with the snow it's less bright? With the snow it's too bright from the ground. Makes sense. So then you need really really strong, a stronger northern light to see it. You know guys, this can go on the whole night. No, no. we can stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Warm fire. Do we have hot water? This morning when we wake up, the tent was dry, sleeping bag was dry, and it was frost on the water. But that's fine. Bye bye snowman, then we go. Now we start hiking back out of the valley and the plan is to spend the night not much but we don't know the weather forecast yet. And we're going through some areas with willows, small creeks and willows. Now we're searching for the trail and for some animals. There is tracks from elks everywhere. Uh, shit and tracks and you can see where they have been walking around. Now we have one more creek to cross and then the trail should be on the other side. We're doing fine in the bushes. Wildlife adventure. Wildlife adventure. Looks so nice. Yes.
Started the uphill <laughs> to ma towards Namach, and there is quite steep rocky trail, and we carry all the backpacks up for camping on the top if we find water. Oh. This is a well marked trail. Summer holiday. Yes. I just got the weather forecast on the satellite phone from Stina and uh, they promised 15, meter per 15 centimeter snow until midnight, 10 o'clock the wind will increase to 7 meter average but in the push up to 12 meter per second it's, it's not really bad but in combination with the snow it will be the first snowstorm of this season we had to check so the tents are really attached to the ground and we can't leave anything outside because that could be covered with snow tomorrow this is not the kind of cozy experience that you want this is more real this is this is not Disney World. <laughs> this is the real shit. <laughs> Suddenly we get the winter. It's actually quite beautiful. Yeah, it's a little bit beautiful. Snowing a lot, start getting darker. Maybe you don't see that, and the wind will increase a little bit. I hear down here in the valley. Here, how the wind start blowing. I think we just had to eat and. Secure the camp and 
entry the sleeping bag just waiting for better weather <laughs> How are you in here? Uh, very cozy, come and join us. <laughs> it's nice to get away from the wind. Exactly. Yeah. It's uh, very cozy in here. Cozy? Yeah. With coffee. Nuts <laughs> and cookies. cookies. Look, a nice company. Oh, that's great. Then, uh, uh. Today I wake up on the top of Namach with uh, with this kind of view. Usually it's a lovely place, but We are in the middle of a cloud right now and uh, <coughs> this is this is not good this is not good because we are waiting for the helicopter we the helicopter should pick us up after lunch time down in the valley and if it's foggy there they can't fly the good news I feel a wind now right now it starts blowing and when it's wind it's usually clearing up a little bit 
Maybe. Yes, I did. I urgently need a cup of tea. And I think it's somewhere in here. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. <laughs> Not the tea, but... But? <laughs> the water boiler, the stove. You see that it has quite a lot of uses. This yeah, that's a really, really good equipment. It will be lovely with breakfast tea. Exactly. Then you can start the day, that's always perfect. I my camera back in my backpack. But now I want to take the picture. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, not comfortable, but beautiful. It actually looks like you fit into the landscape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you have been born here. <laughs> My mother has birthday today. Ah, your mother has birthday. And I think the, the best present is to tell her that I am alive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Ben's mother. Now we have had coffee, tea and the kind of breakfast. And We start hiking down away from this mountain peak. It's very slippery and we really had to go carefully down. It's not super easy to find the trail. It's, you see, Here is the trail. Here. Some part is easy to find it and some part will be difficult. actually already lost the trail <laughs> anyway we're going down and we will find the way we have reached the birch forest and we find the track again So we're doing quite fine until now. No one have falling and everybody is going really serious slowly. That's very very good. If something goes wrong here, someone crash, we will not get help because of the fog or at least not right now. So we go slowly down hill
So right now I'm sitting on the riverbank to the Rapa Atna, Rapa River. Uh, it's the end of the tour and I don't really know yet if the helicopter will be able to fly here and catch us. Very low clouds and yeah, we'll see. Uh, I wanna say a special thank you to all of you seven brave persons who follow me on this tour this this uh, week it was a kind of rough weather conditions sometimes but it was lucky with the northern light and lucky with the company of each other and lucky with the elk and uh, yeah nice to see you out there and everybody who have been looking at this video uh, thank you for watching see you next time ciao how happy are you, Thomas, to let the helicopter come? I'm zero happy. I'll stay here freezing the rest of my life. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy guy. was the first helicopter, now we get the second one too. Let's go home. <laughs>